What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the different types of microphones I use for my voiceover work. Now I'm not a microphone guru or genius or anything like that. I just buy microphones that sound great to me. And over the last, I'd say four or five years of me doing voiceover professionally, I've stuck to about three microphones. And I wanted to go one by one and talk about the things I love about them. I get questions all the time of what kind of mic you use? What kind of mic you use? So you finally get to figure out what I'm using on a daily basis. Let's start with number one. This microphone right here is the Rode NT1. Literally my first mic or one of my first mics that I got when I started voiceover um, back in college, 20, I would say 2016, and it has been a beast. Um, made extremely well uh, and, and just kind of very versatile. And I think for, for me, I didn't have, I had a couple of dream mics in mind and I couldn't get those dream mics. So this was able to get me um, where I needed to get to. Thing I love about this mic, it's a cardioid pattern mic. If you want a mic that can kind of give you free reign to mix and, and play around, this mic will do that. Um, it literally, I think it runs for about 200 something dollars um, at your local music shop or whatever. I got mine uh, from Guitar Center. Now I did realize that sometimes I'll get some sibilance issues, but nothing too crazy. It's still a fantastic mic. And if you're starting out, um, you don't have a huge budget, I say get this one. The great thing about the Rode NT1, it comes with a shock mount and a pop filter. Um, it goes like this, looks like this. It's really cool. So you would set your mic right here um, and this would be your pop filter. Um, yeah, and that's how you would talk. Or, or some people like to do it this way. You know, they, they do it that way and they speak this way. So that's another way to use it, but it's really dope. Um, it kind of gives you those things there. And actually you can remove it actually from here. And, do that if you want to. My second mic always surprises a lot of people. It's kind of, it's kind of unconventional. You know, it's not the, it's not a mic that I would tell you to go out and buy immediately. But if you're doing TV promo and trailers, this may be a good mic for you. The Sennheiser 416. It is a super cardioid mic, um, super directional. Uh, and the type of mics you see when you are watching uh, behind the scenes of a movie or something and you see somebody kind of holding the boom mic like that or, you know, over the people speaking, they use this mic. Um, and for whatever reason, it ended up into voiceovers. I think if I remember the story correctly, it was a TV announcer named Ernie Anderson and uh, he would use this mic in the studio with the engineer as he was recording promos. It doesn't really catch anything on its side. Um, it just kind of comes directly at you this way. It just kind of kind of points at you and picks up everything that's in front of it. So that's it's awesome. That's what, another reason why I actually, I travel with this mic all the time. I don't take my TLM 103 or my Rode NT1. I don't take those ones just because they pick up a lot more of the noise um, and, and the, the kind of the rumble and all that stuff. But with this mic, it's amazing because um, I could be at a place where like the fan is blowing and as long as I have some covering over myself, it kind of cancels some of that stuff out. So I would highly suggest this, especially if, if you're doing TV promo, movie trailers and stuff like that and you need, really want the sound to cut through the noise, it does a great job of doing that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for singing, um, although I have sung on this thing before, <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it for that. I would definitely recommend maybe a Rode NT1 um, or either a Neumann TLM 103 if you can swing it. Okay, my final mic, the mic that I use all the time. Now, let me tell you something about this mic. When I started voiceover and I picked up the Rode NT1 and then I picked up my Sennheiser 416, several people told me, you need to get the Neumann TLM 103. It's great um, for narration, animation, and all that stuff. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm good. I can just use my Sennheiser 416. I don't need it. So it wasn't up until last year uh, during the pandemic, everything closed down and a lot of studios, animation studios, video game studios started asking for talent to have the Neumann TLM 103. It's just an amazing mic for that stuff. Um, so I picked it up and let's just say I never looked back. The TLM 103, there it is. Look at that beauty. The reason why it's special to me, it's just, it has a big, nice, natural warmth um, to the sound and um, it's not too clinical, doesn't get too in the weeds of things. It just sounds really as if it's giving a big hug to your voice, but nothing that's a natural thing. I was very surprised at how versatile this thing is. I use it on 
TV commercials. I use it on narration. I use it on video games, animation. I use it on uh, just all types of stuff, even the nitty gritty stuff, the stuff I do for um, NXT on, on WWE and all that stuff. I use this mic. I actually have two. I don't know if you can see it here, but I have one right here. This It's an amazing and versatile mic and it's something that you keep for years um, and use it in anything uh, uh just kind of rain or shine you know it's a, it's a very solid mic um and very low noise as well um very low very low noise it's, it's fantastic i would recommend this 100 percent um i just wouldn't recommend it if you're starting out so those are the types of mics that i use in my studio comment below what mics you use if you've ever thought about getting a mic and out of the three mics which one are you leaning towards one day do you want to get the tlm do you want to get the sennheiser do you want to get the rode nt1 comment below and let me know why speaking of which i'm actually going to do a giveaway for this mic um i figured that i figured that um i've done quite a bit of work on this thing and maybe someone else is trying to get into voiceover don't really know where to start so i'd like to be of some help but you have to be able to comment below and tell me what was the project i was working on in my aspen vlog all right y'all thank you guys for watching hope you have an amazing day and remember we don't always start the same place so wherever you are take your time you'll get there all right peace